What's up everyone and welcome back to Call of Duty Zombies Black Ops 2. Today we are revisiting Nuketown. Last time we did all the Green Run maps. Uh, Transit, Bus Depot, Town and Farm and now we're doing Nuketown. Because that's next in the line of succession of Call of Duty Zombies catalogue on Black Ops 2. So far we've done World of War, Black Ops 1 and now we're in the midst of Black Ops 2's DLC cycle. But before that, we've got this lovely little bonus map to play. Nuketown. Another map that's quite iconic and nostalgic for me. Um, definitely a map I played a lot back in the day when I'd play Black Ops 2 Zombies religiously. So I'm very excited to, to revisit this map because it's been a little while since I've actually tried this map out. Um, considering it is a survival map though, much like Town and Farm, I will not be try be using uh, re Quick Revive, just because it will stretch out the video to being much longer than it needs to be, um, because this map doesn't have too much to offer besides Pack-A-Punch and Perks, um, and the box, obviously. So, with that in mind, I don't want to stretch out the video longer. I don't want to outstay its welcome, so much like Town and Farm, I will not be adding Quick Revive. I just wish there was a, a diff there was a fifth perk that I could have instead of you know quick revive and mule kick or PhD <laughs> Treyarch. But uh, god damn it this is taking a long time to load in. Are you gonna do you wanna take any longer? Hello Why won't this damn bloody thing work? Hmm? This pesky thing is broken. Waiting for the there we go. Here we go. Let's get into this. Sweet. Alright, in the same fashion, we're going to get the M14 straight away, and not waste any time, and uh, is this the good, oh, that was lag, this is the good house, isn't it, that the box is in, that's always a plus. We're just going to survive as long as we can, if we don't get Jug on the first, like, sort of, bomb dropping after a quick revive, we're still going to just firm it, and see how long we survive without Juggernog. If we survive past round 10, I'd just call that a win. Round 10 without Jug is always a... Is always quite impressive, regardless what zombie game you're playing. God damn it! Can we, can we stop with this lag, please, Black Ops Two? I'm begging you. I had, a, I had a bit of choppy gameplay while I was playing Transit as well. Game, I, please don't. I'm begging you, please don't lag. Fuck it. If it lags and I die while lagging, then we there's foreshadowing in advance at least, which is nice, I guess. Alright, round one. Kaput uva. Finito. So, I guess we just save up until we have enough for both doors in the house to get out to the box behind them. Stop lagging! Please stop lagging, game! What is wrong with you? No, let's quick revive, obviously, but we already said we're not in gonna... We're not gonna partake in that certain beverage. So, with that in mind, I guess we'll just firm it. Just brave it without quick revive. Jagenheimer. Ja! Oh, ja! <laughs> yeah, this map is quite nostalgic for me because I played this one a lot back in the day. So, um, yeah, this is one of the most played Black Ops 2 maps for me when I was younger. Obviously, nowadays it doesn't really mount up to much when compared to like stuff like Mob of the Dead, Buried, or Origins, those being three of like my favourite maps of all time. But it does obviously deserve mentioning that Nuketown is severely underrated. People hate this map, and it's never made sense to me as to why. Game, please stop lagging. I hope this is showing on video how much it is lagging, because it is being such a pain. I don't know what to do to stop it being lagging. Hold on, I'm going to restart the video. Maybe, maybe it will perform better now. Fingers crossed. I don't know for sure though, if it still lags, there's not much I can do, guys. If I die to the lag as well... There is also not much I can do, guys, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like we're losing out on our prime run of Origins for a video like this. But my god, if it lags while I do Origins, I will be livid. Because I want to do as best as I can on Origins, because I really like that. Same with Mob of the Dead, but to a less degree. Mob of the Dead is good, but not as good as Origins, in my own opinion. I know that uh, opinions are very fragile things in... Uh, in COD Zombies World. Where did the perk, where's the perk going to drop? Where's it going to drop? Is it going to drop in spawn? No, it's going to drop in that back garden. I don't know what it is though, I didn't see it. I didn't see what it is. There's a way to check. 
like which perk it is based on like what colour it looks like or something. Maybe it's like how 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 it's shaped. Can I see it out there? Eh, I can't see. Is it jug? Give me some good news, game. Nope, I can't tell. We're gonna go for the box first anyway, so because I can't put my money on gambling on whether it'll be jug back there or not. So I'm just gonna live my life as if there is no jug available at the moment. Speaking of, let's go to the mystery box. Uh, destiny awaits us. Adventure. Okay. Let's go. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Also, I'm planning to train in this back garden, which is why I kept that door shut. I mean, I've not had it before, so it'll be fun to use. <laughs> Dangerous, however, because there's no uh, PhD or jug at this very moment in time. God damn, it's funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the RPG is just jokes. Pure fucking jokes. That is great. I love that. Yeah, I need to be careful though because zombies are getting more lively and this gun isn't getting any better. In fact, it's getting more and more deadly to myself more than zombies. Yeah, this got to be infinitely more fun if I had PhD and it was back punched. That's the best way to use the RPG. And the only way you can do that is if you're playing Origins, because only Origins in Black Ops 2 has PhD. The only Black Ops 2 map that has PhD, isn't that crazy to think? That Treyarch hated us that much that they wouldn't give us our beloved PhD for, for, for the whole game until its last map, where we didn't even want it as much. So, uh, yeah. This thing really is the crawler maker, isn't it? Like Jesus. I need to stop taking damage from the RPG though, because that is a dangerous game I'm playing right now. Very precarious. There we go. Let's hit the box again before I kill myself with this thing. I just want to trade this out. I'll even I'll even firm the MP40 over this thing. Or M14 rather. You see, when you compare this to that though, the RPG looks like fucking gold dust. <laughs> I'll let the RPG over the war machine any fucking day of the week, mate. Jesus, like, War Machine just sucks ass. Even Pack a Bunch is not that great. I suppose it's alright, Pack a Bunch, but I'd, I'd take this Pack a Bunch over that Pack a Bunch. So. Be so careful with this thing. This thing is so dangerous. Oh my god. I'm so scared using it. Even that hit me. I took damage from it from that far away. That is mad. Honestly. So, yeah. This thing is so dangerous. Oh, oh, speaking of dangerous. Speaking of dangerous. That is so sketch. Oh, I've got to be so careful with this thing. And it would make for a fun, like, two box challenge if I had the RPG. Oh! <laughs> if I had the RPG in, like, a two box challenge on this map, that would have been so fucking mad. It would make an interesting game, that's for sure. So. Stop it with the crawlers. Come on, man. Just be, just be a bit better. Come on, RPG. I know you can do it. <laughs> it's so fun to use, but it's so dangerous. Which is why it cannot remain. Right, I'm going to keep that crawler while I hit the box, I think. But I will make most of this doubly. Double points. Okay. That's it, isn't it? Right? So last guy? Alright, cool. Give me something good. I want the M27! I just realised that was in the box! That is also in the box. Thank you, game, for reminding me. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, game. Please. Yay! <laughs> I got the Galil again! <laughs> I'll never say no to a Galil, you know me, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably not going to trade this out either. I love this thing too much to trade it out. Um, I think I picked this up in my uh, bus depot attempt in this present series. And I, in that video I explained how this Black Ops 2 Galil is, is the superior version of the Galil in every single way. It is the best one. It's my favourite. It feels the best. It looks the best. It sounds the best. It's probably the strongest, though. The statistics will probably have to be put in front of my face for me to for me to properly confirm that. So, this is better to run with, though. This single. This uh, is it. What is this called? It's called the five seven. Cool. It's just 
called a 5.7, so as opposed to its counterpart, the 5.7 dual wield. Oh, what? That's why I clenched my ass cheeks while jumping through there. I knew it was a risk and I did it anyway. God fucking damn it. Am I going to have to give this another attempt? I'm going to have to give this another attempt. It's not been 10 minutes yet. All right, well, well I'll be with you when I reach round six next in this next attempt. <laughs> See you in a second, guys. Okay, after a very, very successful first four rounds in terms of uh, point accumulation and a lovely, very lucky double points, we now have a lot of points to play with and a perk that has dropped that is not Juggernog, but is useful. I might just invest in it now. To be honest, there's no point loitering around it. Alright, that's weapons okay with the perk. And then what else am I going to get? Give me something good. Um, it's better than the 14. Let's do this. And now I guess we'll just wait patiently for a Juggernog, I guess. There he fucking well is. It took you long enough, sir. Hey, more points. Sweet. Yeah, even though I have speed cola, I need to remember I do not have jug. That's something that I often just forget. Just, just, I, just something that slips my mind after a while. I need to not let that happen. Otherwise, I'm duped. I'm doomed to the nth degree. So, yeah. That was okay on round five. It's fine. It's not great either, though, is it? Like, I don't love the foul, but I don't hate it either. It's a fine weapon. It's fun pack punch because it becomes a free round burst, doesn't it? The F, um, the F and win or whatever I think it's called. The, the W N or the F N W N, something like that. So goes from the foul to the win, which is fun little play on words, I guess. But beyond that, that's all it is. Fun to play on words with a weapon, I guess. But yeah, this RPD is definitely a good investment, though. Jesus! We love that. But what we would love more is for Juggernaut to drop from the sky. Ah, I'll take it. It's more mobile than the foul, plus so it's here. It's for the auto, and good for points. But then again, what if I get the M27? What if I get the M27? What if I get the M27? I got the M27! Yay! Oh, that is amazing. I love this thing almost as much as I love the Khalil. The only thing that is a drawback of it is that it isn't available on more maps. This is the only map you can get it on in Zombies, I think. It's so good that it has zero recoil. Watch. Nothing. Didn't flinch. Not a fucking inch. Not an inch of flinch. <laughs> zero inch of flinch. That's what this gun should be renamed to. Zero inch of flinch. No inch of flinch. No inch of flinch. I love it. Oh, we're getting a new perk. And hopefully I don't fucking die here. Otherwise I'll be very sad since I have the M27. This is not a great back garden to uh, train in either, so... Oh, what, what dropped? What dropped? What was it? I've got to go find out. If it's Jug, I'm going to I'm gonna jump with joy. Oh, no! No! Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so scary. Because he just, the zombie came from behind and then I had to run past other zombies and I was like, nope, this is it. This is over. That's it. That's all she wrote of her. Nuke down. Alright, guys, bye. See you on Diarise. And let's be honest, I am not in a rush to jump on Diarise. That is for fucking damn sure. So let's go find out what that perk was that dropped. Um, oh, no, 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 no. The two hit system is so scary. Yes! Oh, thank you, game. Oh, thank you so much. Yes! So hyped. There we go. That's what we do. That's what we do. That is what we do. We just gotta wait for double tap. And even then, I can wait for it. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. We've got Jug and the M27. This is this is the best this is the best possible scenario for this Nuketown video to have gone. I'm jumping. I'm literally jumping with joy. Oh, and now I'm trapped. I'm jumping too much with joy. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. I was jumping on top of the zombies' heads. That was entertaining. I wonder if I could have glitched myself out of the map with them, but well, it's not a risk I was willing to take. Ooh. Ooh. I, need, I need to remember that I'm not two hits from death anymore. Mind you, it's always good to be cautious. But, um, yeah. Yeah. 
this gun is so sick. Oh yeah, we also have pack a punch on this map, but it, like it depends on like what when it drops, doesn't it? If it drops on like round five, yay! But also that means oh no, jug probably will come later. But then if it drops on round twenty-five, you've gotten to one. You're like, oh, I've come over the idea of pack a bunch at this point. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That'd be nice if we do get pack a punch. That'd be a cool little touch. If we do get to eventually upgrade some weapons. You the last guy? No. Where's the last guy? Where's he at? There he is! <laughs> bye bye! We're all dead now. Hey! Monkeys once again! The box has been very, very kind to me on these uh, green run maps so far in the past with like giving me monkeys. And then a teddy bear. And then, and I was trying to butter you up, box, but you just spat in my nose. Thank you so fucking much. Oh. Whee! Oh, you know what? I could open this up. Well, why not, you know? And we knife that, and then we can... Maybe? Maybe we'll go for Galbies. I don't know, though. We'll see. Oh, God. Oh, hi, Box. Hi, Mystery Box. How's it going? How's the wife? Can't stay in chat. <laughs> that's hilarious. Holy crap. All right, that's a good nuke right there. I might just... Uh, farm some points before I kill. Oh no, 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 no! Dangerous, dangerous spot to be. We're also out of ammo. Um, um, <laughs> bad, bad. This middle spot is not a nice spot to be training. I'll tell you that for free. You get trapped every corner. Do I want to get that nuke? Or do I want to just farm points? You know what? I'll just get points. Why not? What could be the worst thing that happens? It just dies instantly. I'm just going to, I think this was a good investment because now I can like, I can replace this RPD for something else if I want. I'm keeping the M27, even an M27 is good because it is just such a good gun when it actually does find itself full of ammo and hey, fire sale. Let's go. Give me a Mark 2. You don't even want to. Come on, Mark 2. Mark 2. Come on, Mark 2. Let's do it. Mark 2. Mark 2. Mega Mark 2. Ah, no, no, not quite. Come on, Mega Mark 2. You know you want to. So I look like Helen of Lecter right now. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oi, oi. Go for the fucking monkey, bitch. Oh, what's it gonna get? The Python for the third fucking time. Thank you so much, game. I really appreciate that. You're so kind. Give me so many options of guns. From the Python to the MTAR. To the Python, to the Py. <laughs> Love it. Right, this is this is obviously the back garden I want to be training in because I'm used to it. I'm used to training here a lot more. It's a bit less less. Uh, there's a few less things to get stuck on here, though it's not impossible. You can get stuck on this lovely little rock here in the middle very easily if you're not careful. So I've got to be as careful as I can around this part. Python's okay though, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a really decent revolver. You know, better than the executioner, that's for sure. Woo! There we go, there we go, cool. <laughs> We're good. Right, nice guy. Made good use of that double points at the end, didn't we, actually? Forget this nuke now. We're done. Give us a max ammo. I want to use my M27 again, it's such a good gun. I'm also going to open some now so I can escape if I want to. Just because that's some safe thing to do. It's quite wise. Not let me be wise. Boop! He's dead. <laughs> Boom. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Python is not a one hit? Okay. Alright, game. Noted. Round 10. Python falls off. Pulls off on damage dealt. That's a shame. I was I was singing Python's praises earlier as well, and now it's like, ha, get you done. Dude. Uh, oh, oh, it's good to run with though. Got to got to got to say that it's good to run with. It's also fairly strong to shoot into a horde, just not as reliable to get zombies out of your way as if it would be pre round ten, I guess. So there you go. But with insta kill. They're all dead! Where did the zombies go? Oh dear. Oh. Woo! 
you the last guy. Hey, there's my max ammo I ordered. Lovely stuff. That's what we'd like to see. That is what indeed what we'd like to see. Oh, the M27 is so good. I love this thing too much to ever give it away. Ever. Ever, ever. Uh, where's the mystery box? That's back at spawn, isn't it? That's back in the middle where it just was. With the fire so Yeah. I might take the time to go hit the box again in a bit when I get a bit more points. If I survive, if I survive, if I survive, when I survive. I often just get a bit too confident for my own liking. And then I get cocky. And that's another thing I want to do. Because when I get cocky, I get lazy. I get sloppy. And then I let my guard down. And then I die. Ooh. There we go. Still got it. Cool. Oh, no. You see? You see? You see? You see? I've got cocky! Can't get cocky. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> Zombies are still spawning in, aren't they? So we're not at the end of the round yet. No? Maybe? Maybe we are? Wait, if we are, then I can go hit the box. Alright, I'm gonna go hit the box. These look like the last two zombies. Never mind, there's, there's another one coming. You lost guys? Maybe? I think so. Let's go see what we can get. I'm feeling. I'm fit. Uh, <laughs> this bloody window. I'm feeling lucky. I am feeling lucky. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I should be terrified. Oh! <laughs> I was lucky. I am going to get the Mark 1. Yeah, it's the next round. I'll get the Mark 1. I want the Mark 2, to be honest, but it's alright. I can settle for it later. I can always get the Mark 2 later. Whatever. Lovely jubbly. Yep. I've got the ray on nearly every single green run map now. Besides that transit, I'm pretty sure. At least. Alright, yep. Never mind, let's go. Oh, you know what though? One more, for one round. For one round only. <laughs> we get to use these. <laughs> I'm, I'm not got anything else to spend the points on now. I've got like the ray gun. Oh, you know what? I should have hit the box with the LSAT. <sighs> Maybe one day. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe if I survive long enough. I'll, uh, I'll go back to the box and grab the LSAT, hopefully. That is a gun that's new to this map as well as the M27. The difference being that I'm going to die. Ooh. Ooh. Get out of my way! Oh, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. I was just testing you guys. You guys, you, I wanted to test your faith in me as a zombies player. You know, I just, just wanted to test. It's fine. We, we, I had it all under control. It's fine. I had it all under control. You see, all under control. Getting a few love taps here in the horde. I'm, I'm not going fast now. Oh, we're going another perk. Now, what is it going to be? Pack a punch or double tap? Either will be fine, to be honest. I'm happy with either. Both of them uh, are a means to the same end. Where it, like, improves the weapon. It's just that pack a punch does it slightly more and it's double tap. Never mind! We're alright, though. We're fine. I'm going to go and grab this nuke, I think. Not before I get some points out of these guys first. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Give me that. Yeah. Lovely. <sighs> lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, our M27 is just gets better. Wow. It's crazy how that works. We've done it. Wow. Now that's fucking strong. That's what I said about my... What I said about my... Triple Jack and Coke that I had last night. <laughs> that wasn't even a funny joke. Why? Now, part of me wants to cut that out of the video, but the other part of me wants to troll myself and just leave that cringy joke in just because it's so pathetically funny that I thought that, that joke would work in the video. I'm very, very, I'm very torn between whether to leave that in or not. I guess if you guys are watching this, then that means I did leave in the joke. <laughs> and I do. I do have this self-detrimental humour that I, that I love to display in my videos, I guess. Oh well. Oh, God. 
Damn, I love this gun so much. M27 is just so fucking good. So fucking good. So fucking good. Oh, oh, that was close. I didn't see that zombie there. And it was too late. Last guy. Oh, last guy. Alright, that was a quick round. I guess I'm just that good at the game, guys. No big deal. Just casually getting to round 14. Oh, I just realised round 14. My, my Calvin Knuckles are already obsolete. My fault. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. Oh, well. Actually, let's just test, actually. I don't know for sure. Yeah, there are two hit. Now. Yeah, do it. Never mind. Never mind. Alrighty. Never mind. I do like that, like the movement system for the zombies in Black Ops 2 because it's a lot more predictable than like Black Ops 3 and especially Black Black Ops 4 as well, where they kind of like deviate from the horde a lot more and like catch you off guard. Ah, and that's it. Never mind. So I was saying how how easy training is on Black Ops 2, and then I just died. Oh well. Didn't pack a punch, but that's okay. We got more out of this map than I bargained for. So, that'll do it for me playing Nuketown in Black Ops 2. I guess in the next COD Zombies video, I'll probably be playing Die Rise. God fucking help me. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.